In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create this amazing, simple half face test effect in Photoshop. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. First off, you're going to need a very clean model like this one that I have over here. And this picture I'm using the picture of Sarkodie. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the background because we're going to make some masking so what you can do and in this case i have a very clean background so what i can do is i can easily go for my magic one two and i'm going to left click over here it creates a selection it didn't select all the image so i'm going to hold shift and then make another selection over here this time around it has made a selection all around my image so i'm going ahead and then i'm going to press delete and i'll get rid of the background now once i get rid of the background we need to replace the background you can basically leave it just like this but then we have to replace the background in order to see what we are doing exactly so i come to the layer adjustment over here and then i'm going to select the solid color i'm going to use the color white plain white so that we can see everything I'll go ahead and then I'll click OK. I'm going to drag this solid color underneath of my image and then you can see from here that we have a very simple replaced background. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to scale our image because we want to focus only on the face. So I'll press Ctrl T and then I'm going to scale my image like this. Now I'm going to drag it somewhere around here, scale it a bit small like that and I think this looks good for me. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to split the image into two so to do that and to help us get a perfect image you're going to need a ruler so you go to view guideline and then you're going to type in 50 percent at the vertical side and then you click ok that should create a very vertical line that splits the image into two equal parts now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut off the image into two so we're going to use the rectangular marker tool over here create the selection around the side once you read the parts that you set the ruler it is going to be right over there and then what you do next is you go onto your layer mask and then you left click on the layer mask so a portion of the image will go into hiding and then you have a portion remain seen the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate of the image so what we're going to do next is we're going to type in our test now i'm going to use this simple test the black love virtual concepts so you decide on how you're going to arrange your test but in this case i'm using poppings and then i'm using the left alignment so you realize that everything will be aligned on the left side so virtual and then the concept and then you realize that i'm breaking the test like that as well so 16th r guest like that right and then once you're done you press ctrl t to transform it so you can then make it very bigger like this you can check the scaling the leading and then the canning everything and then you can press ctrl a to make sure that you center it vertically now you take your time to position your test very well so i'm just going to make some changes in my test like that and then you can push it close to the very half of the face like this so you can zoom in to check that you are at the right place and then if this feels so small you can still open it up like that but anytime you do that you make sure that you center it vertically now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the mask so you select your second or the copied layer you right click on it and then you're going to delete the mask now what you're going to do next is you're going to hold control and then you select your test so you make sure that your keza is on top of the t here and then you hold your control and then you make a selection so it is going to create the selection for you now on the copied layer you're going to re-add your mask but this time around you realize that the test has been selected so it is going to mask out the test for you so you click on add layer mask and then you realize that this one is gone again now go back to your test and then you can set this to around 70 60 percent now you realize that the more you decrease this one or the the opacity the more it becomes faded and that's it you just created your half face typography 
in photoshop but just so you made it to this particular point in the video i'm just going to give you like another tip you can go ahead and go to the adjustments layers over here and then you can create a black and white on top of this one just to make it black and white after all it's a black love virtual concept and if you want it like the sarcodia style you can go ahead and then add a gradient to this one let's go and pick up a gradient like this one the two fold the two set of gradients and then you can actually turn this one to something dark red so let, let me pick the red and then come down a little bit like this okay somewhere around here and then you can click okay and then okay from here okay again and then you can set this one to overlay now once you set it to overlay you realize that sarcodia kind of uses this type of uh, designs and then you can as well change this one to soft light i think this one also looks good let's try multiply the multiply also looks quite good and yeah if you don't want to use any of them as well you can just go back and then delete your gradient as well so you right click and then you delete your layer that's it thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one innocence here and bye